The Life at Health study is a population-based cohort study uh, included, which included recently 10,000 province individuals from the Leipzig and Eastern city in Germany. So far, it's a unique study at this kind and size uh, with an urban population in the eastern part of Germany. Uh, this study was initiated and is conducted by the Leipzig Research Center for Civilization Diseases, or shortly LIFE. The main objective of this study was to um, analyze the prevalences, genetic predisposition, early onset markers, um, as well as the life mo modificated lifestyle factors uh, for important civilization diseases as heart function, uh, vascular diseases, um, metabolic diseases, as well as dementia, uh, sleep disorders, allergies and so on. Um, the baseline examinations had been performed between 2011 and 2014 and the follow-up uh, began at the end of 2017. Since 2014, I work with, uh, on a hypothesis whether PR interval prolongation could be considered as intermediate phenotype or so-called pre-step toward atrial fibrillation. And we, in our cross-sectional analysis, we analyzed association between different clinical biomarkers as uh, BMI and renal dysfunction, as well as um, echocardiographic data as left atrial size and injection fraction, also blood biomarkers, especially uh, biomarkers of cardiac dysfunction, um, cardiac damage and inflammation. And indeed we find out that all of these factors are associated with PR interval prolongation. Um, during this Congress I was presented the data and showed that problems with PR interval prolongation indeed had significantly higher levels of all biomarkers. And in multivariate analysis we also found out that PR interval prolongation share similar risk factors as atrial fibrillation. So far it's really new and novel finding and this indicates actually that PR interval prolongation might be considered as preclinical cardiac disease. This analysis was uh, conducted as cross-sectional analysis. So uh, there are a couple of next steps we should uh, and want perform during the next years. Uh, first of all, we should uh, complete our baseline ECG analysis. Fourth of all, more, and that is most important, uh, we are going to conduct um, our follow-up and get longitudinal data. One of the most exciting analyses uh, which we performed through recently was comparison between clinical atrial fibrillation cohort with epidemiological cohort and results were really exciting and we have to present them during ESC this year in Munich. Also um, we are looking forward to some cooperations with uh, other epidemiological cohorts in Europe as well as in US and I think the big goal and the main vision of our analysis, should our hypothesis be true, we are going to implement the preventive actions for patients at risk for atrial fibrillation. And I truly believe that our finding would help at least a part of patients.